and uh, welcome to this uh, computer graph tutorial. Uh, today's episode we'll go through Open Peripheral, which is an add-on to computer graph. And uh, what Open Peripheral does is uh, basically makes you able to connect to any block in the game, uh, including mods and everything. Uh, so in this episode we'll uh, be connecting to inventories and uh, not just chests alone, but uh, also other machines. Uh, so uh, I just made this uh, simple program which displays the contents in this chest onto this monitor. So we can see uh, like the item name, how many you have of that item, the ID, the damage value. You could also get which enchants is on the item and uh, the raw name of the item. So here you see I got these items in there. So for example if I drop some pumpkins in this chest uh pumpkin drop comes onto the screen and so one hoe and iron hoe one x and id and everything so also if i put some wool in here i should get the damage value so damage value is seven so uh pretty cool so uh let's get into some code so we can uh, see how we can do the same thing Okay, so uh, one method you should uh, learn really fast with Open Peripheral is uh, a method called list methods. So let's go into the Lua prompt, and uh, first we need to wrap the peripheral. So uh, like this, peripheral wrap, which is in the vanilla computer craft method, and then since this is an open uh, peripheral uh, mod or uh, peripheral kind of. Uh, you can use this method, which is list methods, and this basically lists all the methods you have with this uh, peripheral in specific. So, uh, depending on what peripheral you are connecting to, you have different methods available to you, and uh, this is why there isn't any online documentation on this mod because this method or this mod doesn't add. Uh, any special connectivity to any mods, it just it just works with almost everything. So uh, that's why it's hard to make some online documentation on it. But uh, there's tons of in-game uh, documentation, so we don't really need any online. And here you can see stuff stuff like what you need to put into the functions. So it's really easy to get into. So. Uh, Let's go through some of these functions. Uh, the good thing is that these functions will follow um, a lot of uh, peripherals in game that has an inventory. So it's you can use the, this on almost everything. So this first method here uh, will return a table of the entire chest. So uh, if we go in here and do uh, like items equals uh, first we probably have to wrap it like so and then we could do uh, content equals chest dot get all stacks and then we could uh, see it, that it is a table and we could uh, live through that table oh let's do for q in pairs content to print and so here you see there's something in slot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 which is correct and to get the information about the, out of those you could uh, simply do like this and then it will display the ID, the name, the raw name, damage, max size, enchants and quantity which is correct so uh, that's pretty cool. And um, the ne next one will only get out the table of a specific slot. So instead of doing like I did before with content uh, and brackets one, you only get that slot. And uh, get inventory size returns how many slots you have in that inventory. So pretty handy to have if you're going to do a for loop and check all the contents of this chest. Uh, 
pull item into slot we can go into later swap stacks basically swaps stacks or swaps items so uh, for example if I want to move this oak wood over to this cobble place and just change places we could do swap stacks and one and three I believe like so so pretty cool uh, get advanced methods data this is also a pretty neat function because uh, every peripheral has this method and basically it uh, is a documentation for open peripheral so uh, if you are stuck on something you can get the explanation on stuff in that method uh, next one condense items uh, if we do like so and this chest is a mess you could do condense items and now everything is in neat order again uh, list method this is the one we did before uh, get inventory name uh, just returns inventory name as uh, you probably thought it did uh, destroy stack uh, that will destroy an item so if you destroy slot 1 for example now it's gone uh, pull item, push item and push item into slot so uh, let's try out those uh, let's move these out of here and just put them in here okay so first we can push an item and first uh, well here we need the direction we want to push to so uh, this chest is on the east side of this chest so therefore we do east and uh, you can check oops, you can check your f3 method like which where to push it like west north east south and top and bottom or down and bottom and up and top i don't remember those but yeah just try them out and uh, the next one is which slot we want to push so let's push uh, slot 1 and then it's how many you want to push so let's push 1 and there pushed 1 from this slot and you also get in return how many you actually pushed so uh, now we can push 63 and now it's a stack there and nothing there and then if we try to push slot 2 then that doesn't work and uh, this is because there is something already in this slot so to fix this we could do push item into slot and then we could do the same east uh, and which we want to push we want to push slot 2 how many we want to push 64 and which slot we want to push into slot 2 and like so and then we could uh, do the same but we want to push no pull uh, items uh, into this chest again so then again east because it's on the east side and then how many or which slot we want to pull we want to pull the slot one how many we want to pull we want to pull 64 and that's that so then we pull that back and again since we already have something in slot 1 we have to specif specifically say which slot we want to pull into this time so into slot east and then we want to take slot 2 64 of them and uh, into slot 2 like so so uh, that's basically it for how we could do that and uh, yeah, so uh, then we can check out how we could do this. Uh, it's really not any hard at all, so uh, be right back. Okay, so here is the code for this monitor. It's uh, nothing really special, so uh, you could uh, obviously do this a lot more efficient than I did, but this is just something I made really quick just to show off. Uh, an example of what you can do with the uh, open peripheral and inventory management so first I wrap the chest on the right then I wrap the monitor uh, make a sim simple function which clears the monitor and then a function which returns um, 
the item table of that specific slot. Then I have multiple functions here which gets the name and ID and damage and quantity. So I just make it simple to get out the information instead of manipulating tables. Uh, then I have the get size which returns the size of the inventory. And then the main method here. And uh, I simply get the size of the inventory. I set which y coordinate I want to write to first. And I condense the chest. And I do a for loop and to loop through the entire chest. Then I get all the information about the item in the current index uh, slot. So like one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Then I check if name and quantity is actually something. So if I found something, uh, then I want to write that to the screen. So that's a simple set cursor and then write that information. And then I add to Y so it gets written in the list. And then I have a sleeper just, yeah, so it can have some breaks. And then again, else break here. So if I hit a slot where there isn't anything, then I know the chest is empty. So I don't need to go through the entire chest with empty slots. And then I just do while true index chest and sleep one. So it's an internal loop. So obviously this isn't the best thing you could do because if I take out something here, there's it's yeah kind of gets fucked up. So uh, you should do it in another way, but this is a really easy way to do something simple, so uh, yeah. Just to show off what you can do with Open Peripheral. So I uh, hope you liked this episode, and uh, please subscribe and uh, comment if there's anything uh, you're still not sure about. And uh, in uh, the next episodes, I'm probably gonna go through some uh, how to get tank information and uh, yeah, other cool stuff with open peripheral. So, uh, see ya!